And I think people don't realize that uh, Knoxville Hat does have a really great film community. It just hasn't really been tapped yet as much. It's, it's, um, it's, still, it's still really growing, but it's definitely there. <laughs> My name is Blake Whalert. My first job was working in the Sights and Sounds department in, at uh, downtown, the Downtown Public Library. Um, I'd say I'm probably more of a um, film lover and, uh, than maybe a filmmaker. And I'm a recent uh, UT graduate. Um, I majored in anthropology with a minor in cinema studies. Um, we're at the Burt House, located in the 4th and Gill neighborhood. Um, it is a open community space where they have different events like poetry slams, uh, film screenings, um, art shows, yoga, you name it. A lot of um, social activism um, stuff goes at the Bird House and uh, most events are free and it's run on donations and support from the local community. I do um, weekly film screenings here every Monday night and so we thought, well, wouldn't it be a great idea if we did a monthly um, locals only um, free screening of their work and promote Knoxville filmmakers. And um, that's kind of how it got started. We just, we had the equipment, we had the space and putting your video on YouTube or Vimeo and looking at comments or people liking your videos is one thing, but actually screen your work to a live audience and getting this really immediate reaction, you know, people laughing, you know, if people talking to you afterwards and be like, you know, being really affected by your work, I think is, is a, whole other, a whole other thing, and I think it's, um, it needs a place. Anybody, anybody can show their work if they like to. And there's enough filmmakers in Knoxville and local filmmakers around town where you can do something like this. No! You killed my mom alive! But we were, we, you know, we've been able to um, fill up about an hour and a half of screen time for every month, and we did that for about a year. Um, right now we're taking a little bit of a break, we're kind of re reconfiguring things, um, thinking about what kind of direction we want to go in. Other things we're going to do, we're going to try to start promoting the filmmakers more, like, you know, before the screenings, have posters up, have uh, put on our website a little bio about the director and what they're, what they're working on. Um, so just putting a lot more time and effort into pr promoting the filmmakers and promoting the, the event, I think that's what we're going to do.